And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, James Out West, March 31st, 2021. Hey, man. It was a good week. It was a pretty good week. I mean, we can start with... There's a lot. There's a lot. But I do have to give one love to, to my sister. She got married this weekend. Oh, yeah. So, shout out to Bethany right on. and Bill. Um, it was an entertaining weekend. It was an entertaining weekend. Did you... Did you watch some sports this weekend? No. No. Okay. No. Okay. What sports were being played? <laughs> oh my gosh! It was great March Madness. Yes, yeah, so I, I heard great I heard. games. Yeah, I heard. I heard some girl got fouled hard, and they didn't call it in the female and the uh, women's yeah, NCAA. Yeah. I, yeah. Think I saw the that picture of it. That was a foul. That was a foul. That was a foul. It, it, they tried to say it was straight up, but there's three girls. I mean, it, <laughs> you, I mean, they were on her arm. I, I, I did. Yeah. I did see the clip. Yeah. I live on the internet, so I saw the clip. The, the interwebs showed you. They did, right when it happened, too. So we've also had a lot of pro days. Yeah, a lot. I mean, uh, Justin Fields could be the second overall pick, or he could be in the fourth round. Uh, they're questioning leadership. When has ever that come up? This, is, this happens every year during the draft, and fans and the media, because they play it up, because this is how they get ratings. But they keep falling. It. This is the bullshit time. This is all smoke. So, do you like what we did? You guys made some moves, but they say that it's not for a quarterback. Okay. Are you kidding me? It's not for a quarterback. It's for well, is it for Mac Jones? Because uh, Mac Jones' is overthrow might have had PTSD. Shanahan. Mac Jones. Shanahan, what's funny is that Shanahan and Lynch showed up to Mac Jones' pro day instead of Justin Fields' pro day. Sure. So they were on the same day. Now, it, it's being said that Kyle Shanahan loves Mac Jones because the way of his upper body and the way he moves and shifts and can throw. I like Mac Jones. I'm not saying Mac Jones isn't, but he's my fourth, if not fifth quarterback. I'm putting, I want Wilson. 100%. Zach I, Wilson? Yes. Did I you don't know think, who he was before this year? No. Okay. Do asking. you know who half the, like, <laughs> No, don't I'm just asking. <laughs> if, if we're not taking that, then it's, it's yeah. got to be Trey Lance or Justin Fields. So I'm not. When you say all of that, chances are Mac Jones will be the guy they take, and he's probably going to end up being the. Joe Montana. I mean, yeah, you never hey, know. I'll eat crow if, if that actually happens. If he. Hey, maybe he is. And who knows? Tom Brady. With what everything we looked at it, it's hard to judge these guys. That it's a right player, right system, up. right time. Correct. All of that has to match up. I like our coaching. I trust the system. Because guess what I'll happens? Trust the process. If guess it, what happens if it doesn't match up? You get Matt Stafford's forty-five thousand yards, thirty touchdowns a season, four thousand yards. Never sniff a playoff. I think it's going to be interesting who we pick because it it'll see if Jimmy G is going to actually stay or not. I, well, I they think, said that he's going to be a, be the quarterback this year, so he'll be on the roster. That's like the girlfriend on the way out, like saying, that's what yeah, I'm saying. It's, yeah, but we'll still, see. this year. Okay. All right. So we have. So we know Lawrence is going number one for mm -hmm. sure, and you said for sure he's going to be at the draft. And what did we find? Yeah, out he's not going to be at the draft. That's he's wild. He's not going to be at the draft. That's wild. So I'm already. On the up and up of our, okay. of our little bit. Yeah. So we'll see. I, I think there's going to be more players. Same situation. We're still. It, he's setting the precedence. Maybe. Some of these guys are going to want to get airtime because they're not quarterbacks. So take out four guys. The first round still has 32 picks. Okay. We'll see. So what did we say? Over under was 15, I believe. You said 12. I said 10. Okay. There you go. You're welcome. Glad you remembered. Yeah. Remember. Well, we have tape. We have video footage. <laughs> I can always go back. So. Negative with Deshaun. Now there's 19. Women. 21. 21. Yeah, oh I'm looking God. at it right now. 21 lawsuits versus Watson. So, okay, I was talking to the old lady about this last night. Either this is crazy, and I hope, like, you, you almost don't want it to be true, but, like, how is that? Not I mean, I don't know where the number becomes, oh my goodness, like, it, it shouldn't be any more than one. It becomes. Correct. But, but we have to look at it that way. But 21, again, it, whatever the truth is, hopefully comes out, and whether all of these women are trying to get paid and there, there's some sinister situation going on, or he has a problem. Yeah. And it, so yeah, one way. whichever way it is, and I don't know, and I don't know that I want to speculate on which way it is, but hopefully it gets worked out through the legal system. To, the one thing that the sorry, not, no, go ahead. The one thing that bothers me is it's all civil. 
So there's there's no criminal charges, and maybe we get to that point. Hopefully not. I really do hope. It is wild. It's a wild situation. But at the same point, this is crazy. It's this is really, crazy. It's really getting. We were. I was begging to have the kid on my team. Now it's like, who want? Nobody wants to touch him. Nope. Well. Anyways, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. So, um, what else happened? Pro days. You had a bunch of four fours ran. Oh boy! And uh, Pitts from Florida ran a four four four. What is he? Six five. Two forty five. And had a what forty one inch vertical? Yeah, and per uh, Benjamin Albright, he didn't even run a straight line, so he probably lost eight tenths of a second. So, man, he's a beast. But there was a lot of, I mean, there was a lot of four threes. This Jamar last Chase, year. LSU. Yeah, like I don't know. I Justin think, Fields looked fantastic in his workout. I think the quarterbacks looked really good, except for Mac Jones. With he had a bunch of off throws that. Didn't mm-hmm. look right, but the yeah. same point. Who who are you throwing to? We're going to judge everything off of pro days. Jamarcus Russell was the best ever. Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah. So and got paid for doing. Now it. the NFL um, did squeak in some information. Seventeenth game. game. Yep, it's starting happen. this year. We don't know when it's. It's not going to be week seventeen or week eighteen. I no. should say this game is going to be. These games will be filled in throughout the season. Reason being, they've had that. Last week of the season, you're playing a division rival, and what that means for playoffs is like so we, unique. That's yep. gonna have to stay. Now we do know who everybody's playing because it was based on where they finished up in the year before. So Seattle's at Pittsburgh. Yeah, I saw that. Which is the Rams at Baltimore. Yeah. Cardinals at Browns. Little excited, payback. Man. I am excited for it. It's in Cleveland. JJ Watt. Pff, Cardinals making moves. Malcolm Butler. Yes. Cardinals are all in. Cardinals, Cardinals are all in. The NFC and maybe West that's what, and you know what? Like, we're battling each other. Like I'm we're wondering all- if that was part of the pitch that's behind closed doors with them is like, listen, we're going all in, JJ. Okay, so you come here. We're, we're spending the money. We're going all in. And that's what they seem to be doing because they see, they sniff the water. They know, hey, if Tom Brady can go down there and they can win a Super Bowl in one year by loading up on talent and letting it ride and letting your players play, Maybe that's what they're going to try to do. You know what's going to end play up happening? Play. With all the drama with the Seahawks, they're going to end up last in the division this year. Well, you would love to say that because you're a San Francisco I, fan. No, so I wouldn't love to say it, but I think it's going to be true. It, you, you look at the stack. If, 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 it could if, be true. If we're healthy. Could be true. Cardinals. They're Rams. going to be 7 and 10. <laughs> so eight and nine. They're gonna be eight and nine. It's we'll be, get into that another day when we once we see the schedule right, well, and everything. Well, by the way, Seattle just locked up uh, Lockett. Yeah, big deal. Four years, what sixty nine point two? Yeah, with a bunch of it guaranteed. Ooh. Obviously, good for him. So, did one, you hold on? Go ahead. There's some other key games though. Green Bay at Kansas City. Ooh. That's um, a, there's some drama right now happening with uh, yep. Aaron Rodgers too. Uh, let me see here. I, Tampa Bay at Indy. That's Indy's funny. got Carson Wentz. Um, what's another one? Dallas at New England. I mean, historically speaking, and we don't know Dallas, Dak Prescott, what that team's going to do. Yeah, that's, there's going to be a whole lot of come like, and what is Cam doing? Is Cam actually playing? I is mean, he, is he learning the system? We'll r- see. Really, those are the ones that kind of stand out. Like the Giants at Miami. Nobody cares. Philly at the Jets. Please, nobody no. cares. Well. New Orleans at I Tennessee. Think Robert Sala is going to turn around that system. I think yeah, the Jets are going to be and that's what the Jets have thought about every coach that stepped in there right. since Rex well, Ryan. I, that's what the I Browns have thought it. since every coach that has stepped in there since well, Bill Belichick. You're finally, your city is Kevin hosting. Stefanski. Let's go. Okay. Great job, buddy. Hey, what? Robert Sala. He's going to turn the Jets around. Maybe I believe so. It. I believe in him. Well, it's because he's so, a... Mm. Go okay, ahead, continue. So the, the one other thing I wanted to bring up is so that I saw... so. Every team now is going to do a Europe trip. In the next eight years. Every yeah. eight years, right? Yep. The Browns have played over there like seven times. I think that's... that's <laughs> you know, okay. The, you and the Jaguars. <laughs> Us, the Jaguars, yeah, absolutely. And the Chargers, yes. yeah. Um, I see it as, yeah, it's great for the game to get the exposure, but in three years, that's going to change. It, there's, that's not going to last for eight years. There's no way. What are you talking about? They're, they're going to restructure that. All it said was that every team will play once over there in the next eight, eight, eight years. years. Correct. So, and that's not going to... You don't the, think it, that'll happen? You want to be that on the eighth year because by that time it's going to change. I don't think so. 
I think this is something that they're working yeah. to. Listen, they're looking at. In eight years, you know how, no, things change way too often. Yeah, but in the NFL, when they do these things, there's not a lot of going backsies. That is true. It's too hard to. <laughs> it's like, dude, this is an 11-year okay. deal worth All $110 right. billion. Dollars. You're not uh, backing out of jack squat. I'll give it to you, I guess. Whatever. All right, so let's get into what was my exciting part of the weekend. So, did you not watch any March Madness? No, I mean, I saw highlights. I saw what people were saying on the internet. But, no, I did not watch it. So, we, there was a bunch of great games. I mean, okay, so we have uh, University of Houston. We got Baylor. And then we have UCLA, who was the, pulling it off against mm-hmm. your favorite team, mm-hmm. Michigan. And then we got the Zags. Mm-hmm. So, I can tell you, the Zags, Gonzaga, excuse me, they are the most complete team. I have not seen the smoothness of the ball moving and having that getting put down low in a long time. Yeah, I heard they're playing old school fundamental basketball. And it's, Go figure. It, it, it's just, it, it literally, I don't know any other word, but just smooth. It's just like, looks here, pretty. Here you go. Yeah. It, it's I pretty. Love it's it. so pretty. It, it's, it's, I love watching them. The same point, you got Baylor. I think it's, I want this to be Baylor Gonzaga. And I want to see those two teams because I think they are going to – Though Baylor looks amazing as well. See, here's where I paid attention to it, though, from a gambling aspect. I think, what, Gonzaga's a 14-and-a-half-point favorite against UCLA? Um, 14 as of right now. Okay, it was 14-and-a-half earlier today. And then, what, uh, Baylor's five-point? Five. Yeah, that one stayed. That's interesting to me. Um, I think that's a big number. Granted, UCLA had to play in to get it. But a play-in team making it to the Final Four, a historically great school of basketball like UCLA. UCLA, it's hard, it's, to interesting. Say that, it's hard to say that they won it. I think Michigan lost it. Well, Michigan State stinks. They didn't score in the last five minutes. They, lost, they missed their last eight shots. Who, Michigan did? Yes. Oh, so you're telling me that a Michigan team wilted when the pressure was on? <laughs> <laughs> sure, that's what I'm saying. That's it, exactly what I heard. I, it, but it's Juwan Howard. Like, I wanted to see them. I, I picked them to to make it to this. The only other one that I didn't get right was Loyola Chicago, who lost, unfortunately. But then I picked Michigan to beat them, and it didn't happen. So I got two and it, out, and two it out didn't four. happen. <laughs> hey, what did you get? Did you? <clears throat> no, I probably had. I have one. Had, I had Gonzaga in there, right? Yeah, you had Gonzaga. And you picked Baylor as well. There we go. So, you I picked Alabama. Yeah, so we both got two. Okay. Well, are you going to watch this weekend? It's this weekend? The final four. It's this weekend? Yes. What day? Uh, Saturday at 2.15 our time, or 2.14 our time. And then that's Houston Baylor. And then Saturday at 5.34. So the, the later uh, game, maybe. The earlier game, I will be in an RV on oh, the way yeah. up to you're, you're the open. land. Yeah, that's true. Okay. We'll DVR it, and we'll talk about it, because I'm going to have a lot to say next week with this Final Four. I'm excited. You will definitely be the NCAA correspondent. Take it. Thank you. Um, so, okay, so let's get into NBA. Yeah. So we got Drummond to the Lakers. Yep. Got his buyout with the Cavs. A little fishy. little Not fishy. It was a little... Uh, there's a lot that had to happen yeah. for, for them to come to the right conclusion. And they did, and he signed in with the Lakers. So they posted a picture of him in a Lakers jersey. Sure, Obviously like it was, they always do. Right. And it was on the Instagrams. Man, I swear he is the mixture of Kobe and LeBron's son. If you look at his oh, face. Oh, look at him. It is, I, it is the. <laughs> I mean, Andre Drummond's looked like a 47-year-old man yes, since but, he was in AAU ball. So that's, that's a good pickup. We got Lamarcus Aldridge to the Nets, which it, whatever. So you have Aldridge, Blake Griffin, who you just picked up, mm-hmm. Durant, Kyrie, yep. yep, all to stop a balding man from Akron, and Harden, who's going to be your MVP of the of the league this year. You know what? I think people think that, and I know he's playing great, but I think these writers are going to hold the fact that he held, he told Houston, "Nah, dog, I ain't playing. I'm getting fat. Y'all are getting me out of here." These writers are old and musty, dog. They don't like these guys that act fools on the court or off the court. Either way, it doesn't matter. They're gonna do. They're gonna run through some people. 
That team is stacked. On top of having... I got a question. Didn't a team way back in oh the Lakers gosh. put together one of the teams like that with Shaq and Kobe where they picked up Carl Malone, Malone and Gary Payton hey. and a couple of other cats? Robert Ory might have been resurfaced on the team. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes. and, they and, got, and they got wiped by Detroit. They got swept by Detroit who has... Yes. Who Correct. will go down as the worst championship team in NBA history who also won't have a Hall of Famer. That's because there was drama. You can't... and. It doesn't seem like it at the same point we do have Did you just Kyrie say too? there's no drama with the Nets? <laughs> Give it time. It's Steve Nash coach, you know. I mean, gosh, Are you? It, it was filled. I, okay, okay, I'm taking back all of my words right now. Yes, I still think they're the front runner. I, oh, oh, to make it out of the East? Okay, yeah. They're going to win it. You think they're going to win the championship? Yeah. You think they're going to win year. the championship this year? Yeah. That team. Okay, so I'll say this now. That team plays the Lakers healthy. Lakers win that in five. No. And no, I'm not don't. a Lakers fan by Dude, any stretch of the means. No, they don't. If I'm sorry. I would actually contend if we, if my Golden State Warriors were fully healthy, we could actually contend. Our defense. Are you talking about this year? No. If we were, yeah, if we had everybody and we were fully healthy. Okay. D- d- man. Okay. I can't talk. Anyways, my I'm my taking, basketball team should be in the um, G League. Yeah, yeah. Let's get like. Uh, I think the Nets are going to win it all. Okay, I do. I, I could be wrong. There could be too much. And you you are correct. You bring up great points. I still and you know what I told you. I think that this ain't this high ankle thing with LeBron's going to linger. Yeah, and he's going to see what's going on, and he's not. He's going to. They don't have enough support. the The two of them can carry. Enough, but I don't. Think I mean, you don't think that I don't know LeBron can't carry a roster? Of course, you had the probably worst finals team ever in Cleveland when we played the Spurs. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Oh Sasha Vujicic. Oh, dude, dude Booby Gibson. Horrible. Okay, so, Anderson Varejao. No, the fact Drew <laughs> Gooden, <laughs> Eric Snow. Oh my gosh. Zydrunas Ilgalskis. Okay, so let's get into something more interesting. Let's talk about baseball. <laughs> <laughs> hey, which starts tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Baseball yes. starts tomorrow. Opening. And, dude, I love it. I will have baseball on tomorrow. I got my son playing Little League again, and it's, oh, my gosh, it's so much fun to go to the games, especially when you win 17-7. Uh, to 7. Yeah, buddy. Wait, was there a mercy roll on that, 10, 10 runs? Oh, yeah. We, we, they hit him. We've been doing pretty well. Our pitching is good. Which I love. That's usually a, a good, good thing team. when they're little kids. I love it. It's and you know, batting cleanup, handling things. It's good. Right so on. did you hear that they're talking about moving back the pitching mound? I mean, why don't they just do what they've been doing and that and dead the ball? They're so worried about it. Just dead <laughs> yeah. the ball. So I mean we're at sixty feet five inches, right? Or sixty and a half, so six inches right now. And they want to move it back. They're talking about moving it back a foot. What I actually thought was hilarious, and not necessarily hilarious, but crazy, if you look at it, last year there were 1,100 strikeouts. In 2005, I believe it was, there was 13,000 hits. So comparative to strikeouts to hits. So we went negative 1,100 when we were plus 13,000. So it's showing the way the pitching has adjusted, the way everything has been. I don't necessarily agree with moving it back. Like, so hit better, right? But at the same point, that's a dramatic stat. And the fact that they, what was it, in the 70s that they lowered the mound a foot? But you realize that. So with that whole, you know, just hit better. Because everybody's trying to hit angles and, you know, all all these different things. So the thing is, everybody's swinging for the... Give me somebody... You're saying analytics? Yes, this is this is the players though. This is like the Trevor Bowers going out there. Uh, you know what? I learned something on a one eye pitch. Now, I cannot tell you if that works or doesn't work. I did not play baseball, so coming from me, this sounds like a complete stooge and hack of talking uh, baseball. A stubborn man, yeah. But I think that they're out thinking the game. I don't think so. Bro. You you have a ton of people hitting home runs, so it's not about. It's but, not about hit hit better. Right, but if you actually watch a baseball game. A guy throwing a 100-mile-an-hour sinker like I just saw yesterday? Yes. Like, a 97-mile-an-hour curveball is ridiculous. Sure. Like, it, and it's happening. I get it. That is 14,000 hits different. 
in a season. That's insane. You have to realize, like, has anybody looked at how many of those? How many of those were called strike threes that got him that struck him out versus no, it not? Well, no, I asked because seriously, because that. Let's look at the umpires. Let's take that into consideration. How much of that is skewed on that? Maybe ten percent. So yeah, I could say maybe you can give it five to maybe ten percent. Let's throw it off. And you want to be stubborn old, you know, old man and getting on my high horse about it? Then maybe the guy should stay off the f- Instagram and go get in the batting cage. <laughs> I mean, These what else is there to say? Uh, They're playing Mario Kart. It's baseball. It is it baseball. Is. It is. I, I love, it's a long I love, season. I love the sport, but there's that, that, that's that's my intake on baseball, and uh, I I'm very proudly giving that out today. I mean, I will be watching tomorrow. Yeah, I have I'm the excited. league pass. I have yeah. MLB TV pass. I watch it. I I probably will watch. No joke. I will probably wa- realistically watch 80 plus games. It's always on in the background. See, so you're going to watch more baseball than you are of March Madness. Yeah. Week. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Nobody watches base- college basketball until baseball. March Madness. No, that's not true. Baseball insider okay. over here. Yep. All right, so we were talking. We're in trouble if I'm the baseball insider, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I'll still do my work. <laughs> you, we'll see what you produce. Let's we'll see what happens. Um, so we were talking, this was, what, two weeks ago, because uh, last week there was a little... Uh, had to get at, out of the house. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you guys watched last week, uh, my wife called... And I answered. If you and noticed, we chatted he for a few minutes. He perfectly didn't edit this out. So hung up the phone. She <laughs> called back again, and we're live. She knows this, so that was troublesome. So I answered it. Find out she was in a car accident. So at the yes. end of the video, it's like me frantically running out. My eyes about to jump out yes. of my skull. Him being like, "Hey, can you watch the kids? Can you watch the mom? Like, hey, <laughs> everything good? She's okay. All all things good. Car did what it was supposed to. The car is gone. It was totaled." Uh, but it did what it was supposed to. It protected her. And you were able to to finagle to get a truck. To- well, I mean, the rental place wanted to give me a minivan. And by <laughs> and no circumstances was Teresa going to drive a minivan. So she's like, no, I'll just wait. So now you you might be on your way to. I mean, it's one step closer for James to get a truck, but it's we'll far see. away, bro. Uh, it's T's. Yeah, she might, do, might bend a little we'll bit. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So we were talking two weeks ago after the show about. DMX stories. Right, because everybody live, has if one. If you live in Arizona, everybody has a DMX story. Whether it's you run into one at the Metro Mall, shout out, rest in peace, Metro Mall. <laughs> it is crazy. So, real quick, I want to hear, because you briefly told me about it. I want to hear yours. So, we were in Santan, out at a QT, getting gas. Uh, me and a cousin of mine and his little brother, so I guess my other cousin, and... Uh, in front of us was a guy holding a gas can, like a little, you know, gas can you carry into. And uh, we we're looking at him one. and we're like, this, there's no way because it looks like BMX. And uh-huh. sure enough, he like turned sideways and it was like, yo, yo. <laughs> well, it was like, oh boy, this is so like, without a doubt, my other little cousin, he's very big DMX fan. So, and he, Mikey doesn't care. So, Mikey was like, what's up, dog? And like, was like, you know, oh, rapping yeah, with yeah, him and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, you know, I'm getting his gas. And it was like, for what? He's like, for the RV. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was like, I was like, you sure it's not for cooking meth? Like, that was the first thought in my head was he's buying gasoline at one. Hey, yo, just give me $1.50. Yeah, the, the beater on? Yep. Yep. 100% white, yeah, yes, white, yeah. white beater stained, y- yes. baggy sweatpants. Yep. Oh, it, for the sure. prototypical DMX look. What would you Walked expect? in. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And he walked out. <laughs> and he was like barking when he left. You know what I mean? It was That's awesome. Hilarious. I didn't, I, could, I just, did this just happen? That's hilarious. So that's my DMX story. Just my brother random. Patrick's got a DMX story. You've got so. So we actually we went to a holiday party um, at at what was it Fire in the Sky? So, Fire in the Sky, yeah. And then the next one, our same director ended up booking it there. So my wife and I went there. Unfortunately, this guy wasn't there performing, doing no. his, his, his song and dance, um, <laughs> literally. So, but you have to imagine. So we're in a a, a decent sized conference room, like hotel. Sees about five hundred people. Yeah, but there's maybe like 200, 150, maybe two hundred people there. All of a sudden, in the middle of our like awards and like talking, freaking <laughs> Flavor Flav walks through the door with his clock on. And just throws his hands up and goes, Flava, Flav. And we're just like, what? And then you see DMX is standing right behind him at the bar. 
it was <laughs> like what like what just happened so then we end up cutting things a little bit short <laughs> my wife and i are walking out to the truck to go get our luggage and all of a sudden you hear uh-huh and, he, and, and DMX is right in the patio right there. So we, it was just the craziest, just showed up was that they were both so nice. I, I, I do have to give it to them. They were open, willing to talk to everybody. Nobody was a jerk to them. It was hilarious. That's awesome. But, oh man. That's awesome. That, so not just DMX. No. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not just not DMX, but Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav, we had to we had to throw in a little. What back. do you think? So I was thinking about this when you're bringing that up. I mean, when these kids that are kids now, your kids, my kids, when they grow up and they look back at like television and stuff, you know, what are they going to think about this? This dude wearing a clock on his chest. They're not. First of all, they're not going to know him from Public Enemy. Like that'll be even like it'll be from him being on like whatever he was on on VH1, right? Dude, I remember he was on some like love show. I remember having to explain to my kids what a phone booth was. Dude, the things that change. Because <laughs> it's like, think about the generational gaps of like, we know what a phone booth was. Obviously, our parents, our grandparents, our grandparents, grandparents, and so on. You know what I mean? And certain things like the honeymooners. Granted, we weren't around. Like, I it, love Lucy. Like that, those, those shows, shows, kids are irrelevant. I, I had a 22-year-old kid talking about he didn't know who foghorn leghorn was oh my gosh are you kidding me so it was like dude i, I say I, 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 I say i say more <laughs> so it's just wild to me that these things that are so common in our lives have have stopped we are the gen so then my question is are we the generation that dropped the ball because it kind of seems like it i blame my parents i like that too no i don't no i don't know i mean it's, <laughs> I, I think it's it's everybody adapts and everybody is trying to adapt and but it's also adapting to what society is saying these kids are now. Not yeah. Oh necessarily. yeah. Well, let's not even get into that. Yeah. Let's, so. All right. But yeah, that made me think about that. So we got the DMX stories. Yeah. We covered NFL. We covered baseball. We covered basketball, both basketballs. We didn't talk a lot about the Suns. They just continue to win, continue to look They're good. They're looking good. Uh, they could be the dark house, dark house, dark horse to come out of the West being they're already, what, the two seed right now? Is that why you always lose in the horse? Because you always just spell house. Oh, I spell it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> so, okay, okay. So, we, we talked about this real quick. I want to get into this. I know you've met some famous people. I got somebody that I, I wanted to bring up. Who's your mo the famous person that, or is the most impactful that you ever, like, even like, hey, what up? Bro, I don't know that I've ever been... I've never been like lucky enough, I guess, to see these types of people. Like, You've never like shook hands or like walked up and said hi to somebody. Are you serious? No, nah, yeah. Like, uh, let me see here. No, like I passed. Uh, me and our buddy Nate Allred were traveling for work, and we were coming through Sky Harbor, and Tony Hawk walked right past us, and Nate froze up and was like, "I think that was Tony Hawk," and I was like, "Tony," and he turned around and looked. That's not, I'm not going to count that as an instance. I was on my way up. I was like, dude, go talk to him. He's like, no, 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 I can't do that. And you wouldn't do it. I don't fucking like Tony Hawk. Uh, okay, skater, cool. Right on. Dude, he did a 900. Like, are you no, it's amazing feet. I just didn't oh skateboard. Gosh. So he's yeah, not no, like an idol to me. I'm not the type of person to ever, I, I always go up and I appreciate and I say, hi, I love to shake somebody's hand. I love the interaction. Yeah, I don't yeah. ever ask for an autograph. Yeah. Um, my favorite, I've met a bunch of, Fun people, Robin Williams. I met at the Tiki Room in San Francisco. Who That's has interesting. The hairiest knuckles. Yeah, I've, well, I've ever seen. But my favorite, Mark McGuire. That's cool. So this is in the late '80s. My mom is a single mom. For some reason, we're at Costco. Doesn't make sense to me when I look back on it. I don't know why the heck we were at Costco. It's just the two of us. And we're in San Ramon, which is two towns over. I think it was because of her work or wherever it was at. We run into Mark McGuire and his wife. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is my LeBron, this is my Michael Jordan, <laughs> this is like, are you kidding me? So I go up, it, it's just the four of us in, you know, those huge Costco right. long aisles. And I tell him, the first thing I say, he gets down on one knee. And I'm just like, uh, this is the greatest I, thing in my life. I love the Bash Brothers, and I have three posters of you and two of Jose Canseco. And he started cracking up, and I'm like shaking. And he's like, I'm going to have to tell Jose that I have three, I have more posters. <laughs> and it was just because the Bash Brothers, I mean, in the 80s. Sure, you know I mean? they were everything. They were amazing. Um, so I asked him for an autograph. He said, hey, you know what? We're still shopping. 
will you wait until we check out and then meet me at the end and I'll sign an autograph for you. So, of course, mom and I get done. We're just being the, 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 the annoying Pacing. person. That, yeah. And, of course, my mom doesn't have a piece of paper, so we have to find one, get pay, pen and all that. He comes over as soon as he's done, walks straight towards me. We're about maybe five, ten feet away. Gets down on one knee again, signs it for me, says, shakes That's my awesome. hand. He was just like, hey, you, That's awesome. like, I appreciate you, and I'll make sure to tell Jose about this story. That's awesome. Didn't talk to anybody else and walked out of the store. That's awesome. One of the, like, That's very cool. Mark McGuire, I That's know that cool. people have different views. No, on yeah, McGuire, people need to get over it. Crud, that was the... People need to get over it. Yeah. Seriously. He was a stud. Get over it. Should be in the Hall of Fame. Yes. Barry Bonds yes. should be in the Hall of Fame. Roger Clemens yes. should be in the Hall of Fame. Come yes. fight me. Yes. So that was my fun, like probably my best interaction. I've met a ton of celebrities. I've been able to play with the different celebrities, but that was amazing. Right on. All right. All right, dude. So, so next week, you'll bring up whatever happened in the Final Four. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about the first week of baseball. Yeah. I'm sure we'll find out more about what's going on in the NFL. By then, Justin Fields may not be getting drafted. I mean, who knows? We're, what, less than a month away now from the draft? Yeah, I'm draft. excited. I think. We, I, did hear, uh, I did hear from um, the drunken uncle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so what me does he and him, have to say? Oh, boy. He's got a lot to say. Um, I'm going to catch him in between whichever bar still he falls off of. And uh, I'll get him on here. We'll probably have a segment m- hopefully next week. Hopefully next week. He did send me his he email. Needs to show up. I just need to make sure it's the correct email. I, I, I have some things I want to say. So I will uh, we'll I'll make, let you know. We'll make it happen. All right, All right bro. All right. Hey, everybody stay up. Enjoy Check it. us out on YouTube. Check us out on Instagram. Instagram. Check us out on... Websites. Spotify on iTunes, I believe. All the, all the, all the socials. Yeah. That's what the kids say nowadays. Like, subscribe, five stars, yada yada. Love it and share come, it. Give us comments, like for real. We want talk wanna, trash. We Feel wanna, free. Yes, please. All right. All right, homie. Later. All right. One love. <laughs>